Okay, well, with Likert scales, I think there is a tendency to um, for respondents to fill in the happy medium. So very often, the three out of five is is almost a sort of default um, choice that people make. I think the likelihood of this happening is far greater when questions are very vague. Um, so, for instance, if you ask the general level of satisfaction for something, um, I think the the ambiguous sort of the ambiguity is likely to bring out a three, a three out of five. Whereas, if you're more specific in your question, I think it's likely to it's likely that that your respondent will have a more definitive response, which could could go towards either extreme. So it could be a four or five, or, or a one or two. Hmm. What would be a more specific question then, based around satisfaction? Um, so I, I would, um, on satisfaction, rather than asking generally, I mean, although sometimes you need the generic question for donors, of course, I, I would break it down. So break the product down into, so if we're talking about a training workshop, you, you will break it down in terms of the relevance of the material to you. Um, so, so, so here's a good example, actually. So for instance, in the general question, you know, um, if you're asking someone a very general question, um, it's quite vague. And and if you're in the position where you thought some of the workshop was quite good, some of the workshop was, wasn't so good, three seems a very natural response to you. Whereas if you're asking someone the relevance to their work, so you, not only the, so, so not merely relevance, but relevance to, to X, to something. So the relevance to your work, the relevance to your studies. So if I were to ask a student, is this book relevant to your studies? Please rate one to five. Um, more specific still, is it relevant to your essay? You're more likely to get a definitive um, response. So you see it's almost a sliding scale, isn't it? More relevant to your course, you might not be so definitive because it's still quite general. It's, you still have in the back of your mind lingering, well, it's somewhat relevant to this part, somewhat relevant to that part. But if you ask relevance to something very specific, such as a, a, a classroom task or an essay, then it's likely to, I think, elicit a meaningful response.